Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotac and with iOS 26, Apple introduced liquid glass, but many don't like it. However, with iOS 26 through iOS 26.2 and future versions with iOS 26.3 and 26.4, you can enable true dark mode or actual dark mode as you're seeing here. So everything's got sort of this blackened background. If we go into folders, you'll see how dark it is. Again, if we press and hold on maybe a folder here, all of the pop-out menus, everything from the control center and everything else is pretty much a dark black color. So I wanted to show you how you can enable this on your iPhone as well. I'll walk you through step by step. So let's set this back to light mode on everything. Now I'll show you an easy way to do this with just one press after I show you step by step. Now the first thing you want to do is press and hold on the home screen anywhere there isn't an icon or widget, go to edit, go to customize, and then switch over your icons to dark mode. You can of course adjust the background, make it brighter or darker. I tend to like it a little bit brighter, but you can adjust that however you'd like. The next thing is let's turn on dark mode itself. So all of our menus switch over to dark mode. You can add this control in the control center the same way by pressing and holding, adding a control, then just searching for dark mode, or it will be at the top here. Once you've added it, you can quickly switch over to that. So once you have that enabled, you'll still see we have liquid glass and everything's still sort of translucent. The next thing is to go into settings. We'll go under accessibility, then display and text size, and then turn on reduce transparency. Now this doesn't make everything completely black. You'll see here that it's still a little bit translucent. So if we go down, we can increase the contrast that helps a little bit, but what helps a lot is if we scroll down even further to reduce white point, if we enable this and then reduce the white point somewhere around 70%, everything turns into sort of a deep black look, including the control center that you can see here, the background's completely black. And then the dock is more blackened press and hold on a folder. It's black as well. And then you can see everything's quite dark here. So that's how you set this up to get everything sort of a blackened background or as dark as can be. You can also change the widget that I have here. This is called mercury weather. So if we press and hold, go to edit widget, we can switch it to deep black, go back, give it a second to refresh. And now we have a deep black background on the weather widget. So you can change that here. So I'll link that in the description below but you'll see everything's deep black, including the control center. Now you may say you want to turn on the tinted icons instead of the clear icons under display and brightness. However, if you do this, because I've already changed so many settings, if we do this, it will actually say, do you want to turn off reduce transparency and increase contrast? You cannot change the preferred look for liquid glass while reduce transparency and increase contrast are enabled. So you can change this around a little bit. So if we switch it over to tinted and this time, if we go back in under again, accessibility and display and text size, we can reduce transparency again, but it's not really going to change much. So the way I showed you to start with seems to change it the most as far as the way I've played around with it. Now I've made a quick toggle in the control center using a shortcut that I'll share with you in the description where you can toggle actual dark mode. So it turns on actual dark mode. And what it does is basically enable the things I showed you earlier. It sets reduce white point to 70%. It also turns on reduce transparency and increase the contrast. Again, you can customize this with show borders, however you'd like. So now everything's dark, including notifications as well. So if we go to notifications, you'll see those here where they're all darkened. In addition to this, there's one other wallpaper you may want to try out that's super dark. Again, I'll link it in the description below, but if we slide home now, everything's blacked out. So if you want this, this sort of setup, I'll link it in the description along with the shortcut here in the control center as well. It'll make it super deep and everything blackened. And if you're wondering what this is, this is a D brand skin called 2d sketch. It's available for iPhone air and some others, but I just really liked the look of it and thought I'd share it with you. They've been a long time channel partner. So I'll link it in the description below. So that's how you unlock and enable actual dark mode on iOS 26. And later, let me know if you're using this maybe with the black wallpaper or the other one, I'll link both of them in the description below. I'll also link that shortcut. So be sure to check that out. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.